Greetings everyone, Napoleon Complex here, and it's time for something a little bit different. Uh, I've had Field of Glory Empires for a while, I've always wanted to try it out in a bit more detail. Um, I played a campaign as the uh, Iberians once, and got some way into the game, but this is the first time I've really turned my attention to it. Let's get into it. So, you're probably used to be playing on the highest difficulty, I am not going to be playing on Suicidal today. That would be as it suggests Suicidal. Uh, we are going to be playing on experience, so I'm just trying to get a handle on the game today. We're going to start the Grand, grand Campaign. Uh, I don't want to play as the Persians, I'd like to play in the Roman era. That's simply because of familiarity. Uh, I haven't spent enough time in the base campaign, let alone starting the DLC one. So we are going to be playing as Rome. Yes, boring, I know, but uh, this was the time for their rise to power, and it would be interesting to take a look at them, I think. Uh, if you want to read a little bit more about them, here's the uh, context. We started at war with the Senones. A few notes about their gameplay. I've already read through all of this. And here are some modifiers. This is actually the need to look. Okay, so we've got more leaders. Uh, we've got conversion bonus. That will be very useful. There's a lot of unrest can come from uh, evil not of our ethnicity. Uh, we've good builders. Okay, structure bonus. That will also be useful. Ab okay, I think this is just average mills. That can change according to leadership. Uh, we're a republic. Okay, this is a commerce, commerce bonus. And okay, decadence gained further increased by 10%. Right, of course, that might be modifiable depending on how our state grows. Let's, get into, let's go. Right, so. Actually, we start off with two Roman legions and two allied legions, and we're at war with the Senones, and the Samnites and Etruscans are uh, hovering as well. Now, we start off with a powerful army, and I did have a look at the um, balance of power on the map when I previously pulled the game up. We should be able to advance immediately, but certainly not with that situation. We need at least a. Uh... We have any... Yeah, there we go, we've got an attack. Someone with an attack bonus. We are going to be taking General Hector into battle. And we're going to be trying to occupy the Senna and capital. We are not going to collect assault because, as I found out in a test game, that causes you to immediately assault the city. We are going to place them under siege. Now, one thing I'm going to check is on these Allied infantry. So, their procedures. Our legions are apparently not procedures. So, we. These are the units that are actually capable of besieging cities. You need to remember that. Skirmishers, by the way, are good for defending cities. These increase your siege defense, and they're also incredibly important units in general. We also have one unit of cavalry and one unit of light cavalry. We're we'll looking at how they behave on the battlefield, because I'm not sure if light cavalry screen heavy cavalry or not. These are medium cavalry, rather. We don't have access to heavy cavalry yet. Right. Now, we can already see that Rome has a few things going for it. It's got a forge and access to Potter's Workshop, so we've got some money coming in. We have access to the Senate for culture. So culture is critical for, if we just go into this, you've got the difference between progress and decadence. Now, um, it, culture and decadence, rather. And this determines where you end up on the culture and decadence ranking. We always want to either be here, in which case we're growing, We've gone all the way to over, over to Arabia, or we want to be in this tier, in which case we're stable. We're progressing towards a higher form of government if we're here, and we're not moving, but we're not declining if we're here. If we fall to this level here, we will start to accumulate negative progress tokens, 
and that will eventually cause us to collapse down to a lower form of government. So we really want to stay out of here. And to achieve that, we're going to go to Rome first. I'm going to take a few of my citizens, which is quite enough food. I'm going to put them in culture. And I'll take... Let's see. I'll take a citizen up here. I'd like Rome itself to focus on... Well, let's take a look at what the barracks can produce. We've got the Campus Martius. That unlocks the early Republic Legion. I would like Rome to focus on... We've got the capital. What does that do? Produces equipment and also culture, which is actually blood, which is actually very useful. Rome, of course, gets a lot of buildings that help it out. We've also got some health buildings, so I don't need to worry about these, but these can be extremely important. Health helps to stay off disease and makes it easier for you to grow your buildings. It reduces the amount of food you require to stockpile to get to the next level of population. So, as I said, I want to build, focus on military and culture buildings here. I need leather in order to get access to this, so we're not going to go for that. See, we already have access to the wool, so there's no point in going for that. The furnace is an interesting one. That would give me lots of money and metal. Um, and needs iron. That can be important for Etruria, which are, who are our neighbours. I am planning to go to war with the Etrurians at one point. I don't really want to make myself dependent on that. So I think for now we're going to go for a cult site for the extra culture. Now in Campania, let's take a look at what we've got here. Again, I'm going to put some effort into culture. Now the I think it's a Hellenic citizen, so they're not quite as good at producing culture uh, for us because they're not our um, they are not our culture. So what I'll do is I'll move my Italic citizens into that role. I'll keep the Hellenic citizens focused on um, food. And I think let's take a look at our building options. We'll go for the clear water since we don't seem to need a great amount of infrastructure for that. I will temporarily uh, move more of my citizens into the food. Well, that's not actually quite true because then that would go... What, what will happen is that once it's built up, we can keep the infrastructure for our next project because it gets stockpiled for one turn. Um, try and keep one citizen on culture. Let's see. So I want to specialise and let's see. Is this area good for growing food? Not really, so what we probably want to probably want to specialise this into something else. It's not a coastal province either though. Infrastructure, I think. I think I'll focus on infrastructure in this province. Or I might go for health. We don't need we don't have salt yet, so I can't build that the salt house, but I'm, we always want some health buildings in our provinces. I don't think there's anything else I can do. I'll have a look at regional decisions. Let's see, the spare slaves, not yet. We'll keep a hold of that one. Forest land, we don't need it. Motivate the troops. Um, you know what? Since we're going into battle, that might be a good one, but I also want to keep a hold of it. I don't think we're going to do that just yet. There's one other thing that I need to consider. And that is decisions, right? We've got corn law and health regulations. So this is to distribute food. Let's take a look. Right, that would cost me a lot of money, but what effect does it have? Uh, doesn't really do a lot for me. Fresh water access. Each build will hold on. To, we'll hold on to this decision. Once I've got at least one health building, we'll go for the new health regulations. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, no, we'll go for the new health regulations there. And if we have a look at the land tax law. Right, so we can pass a law that will increase our land taxes. This might be a good time to do it because loyalty isn't a huge problem right now. Uh, we don't want to get permanent unrest. Uh, let's take a look. Hmm. And we don't have too many uh, regions dominated by different ethnicities, so that won't really do anything. Uh, yeah, let's just get some money while we can. Let's see. Jura Lex said, just as in ancient times. Just as in ancient times, was often swift and rudimentary, citizens had some rights, include in particular uh, in Hellenic nations and in Rome, but slaves and to some extent women were regularly stripped of everything 
including their life or causing the smallest amount of trouble. Pleasant. Um, right. Troublemakers and revolters are, revolters are amnesties. Regions of your main ethnicity under revolt will lose some strength as some troublemakers go up fighting. The nation will age one by one extra. That will do absolutely nothing. I don't think we need this right now. Okay, and merchants and partitions in the army now. Uh, that will trade my manpower unfavorably for money, since I only have 500 and this will empty it. That would be a bad idea. So, we've had a look at everything. Uh, God, we've got a bad military reputation, apparently. Let's go to war. And as expected, the Senones are not going to try and fight us. Now, thanks to putting all of that effort into culture, we are in the top tier. If we put no effort into culture, we would be in the bottom tier instead. So it's important that we put some effort into culture, even early in the game. Okay, and we're progressing. Alright, we've got two deter. Okay, we know what that situation is. Okay, luckily we crushed a raid from Samian. Your neighbours can raid you without declaring war on you. So this is something to bear in mind. Now the siege will be quick here. We don't have to do anything extra. But we have a look at the modifiers. Some of siege values of the attacking units is 6. Oh, I, I guess I was wrong about the early Republican Legion. Uh, I thought maybe the later Republican Legion would be able to siege, but they've got siege value too. They're actually the best siegers for siegers. So ignore what I said there. Um, that's rather embarrassing. Um, I knew that legions gave siege bonuses. I just didn't realize it was the early legions rather than the later ones. Let's take a look at the early Republican legion. I don't, let's see. We do, we will be preparing to fight the Etruscans at some point. What I would like to do is train up some ally because they are better at fighting in rough terrain. And uh, but that's going to take me three turns. Is there anywhere we can train them a little bit faster? Not really. Wherever we go, that's going to take some time. Okay, fine. Um, do we have enough money? I think I'd rather focus on getting my economy up rather than building new regions immediately. Let's see. So, we've already built the health building here. I would actually like another one, but we need salt. Coastal market, we get an 8 bonus if we had access to fish. We could go for the Eurasian Tribune, that would give a loyalty bonus. Given how low our loyalty, going after wine is really tempting. But it can already be imported from Etruria, which is a region I intend to conquer later on. So, I think we'll actually go for the Eurasian Tribune, and the reason for that is. Our loyalty is looking rather peaky. So we'll go for that. Other than that, nothing else really happened this turn. And as I'm currently clinging onto my money, we'll just let the siege continue in Thistium. Oh, we have a, we have a different general, but he's no, no good. Oh, if you go assaulting uh, cities willy-nilly, it's a lot like in um, uh, Europa Universalis. Assault a city before you're ready to do it, and there's a good chance you'll get crushed. We need to wear the defenders down a little bit. So we've completed our wheel maker, that's going to help our infrastructure. How's the siege going? We've breached the walls and we're ready to assault. Now we can assault the, set, the city. Okay. And the Senones are trying to build up their armies again. And as the Etruscans are building up their troops, they've got access to heavy infantry, plus some warriors. Now these, he let's see, these warriors, I'm looking at, these are, they've got a lot of hells in their region. Right. This is all Italia Superior. No, that's no, that's Salpina. What we probably want to do is, if we take this region, we'll be able to form the province. Then I can tr I can pool my equipment and train Ally and Latium. So we'll Latium rather. So we'll take that. Right. 
Let's see. Still don't have salt. It would produce horses, so that could be a valuable one. Um, I already have access to cavalry, but what is giving me access to cavalry, curious? Hmm. Hold on a second. That's interesting. I don't know why I can train. Um... Oh, I can't train it. Right, in that case, maybe we should go after a stable here. Because not only will that give me infrastructure, it will give me access to cavalry. So that just seems like a good thing to go for right now. You want to get these kind of basic structures up first in most games. So we, we're waiting until the siege is finished, then we can make the province, hopefully. City capitulates before the battle has actually happened. Well, they did say it would be quick. Now we're starting to slide. I might need to give a little bit more attention to culture. However, if we slide down to the uh, second tier, that's not a big deal. Because we're going to be focusing on resources a lot. We took some money from them. You can see our income's gone up. I'm curious as to what's here. So we've got access to a ranch. We've got access to cattle now. They're in the process of building a farm, honestly. That's probably fine. Uh, how good is this area for producing? We won't know until the pacification wears off. Because as you can see, the food penalty and infrastructure penalty. It doesn't actually look very good because um, it looks like this region is quite poor farming cult country. So we might want to specialize it to something else. Let's take a look at what else would be available. Hmm. Well, access to flax would be nice. Uh, hmm. I'm going to wait until that wears off before I make any major decisions. Now, can I produce? I can't make the province until I secure some of the peace deal. So let's hurry up and finish up the Sinones. They don't have any walls defending this place anyway. Okay, right. So that means, unfortunately, I still can't build up my military. But we have produced a cultural building in Rome. We've got access to a tavern, and that's further loyalty. And as you can see, loyalty is still a big problem, especially since we start receiving slaves and are going to push that down even further. So I know that this is probably a good idea. We'll go for a tavern. We're going to get a bonus of four from cattle. Uh, we got access to wine. Um, I'm sorry, Jim. Is it too? I'm going to get access to our own supply of wine. We'll can the um, Oration Tribune for the moment. Okay. Next. I think that's the sound of them declaring war. Yes. Oh, never mind. They declared war on uh, the Senones as well. Right, this is our first real battle. I didn't expect there to be quite this much resistance. So this must have been drawn from the native garrison. Let's take a look at what the battle's like. Okay, looking at this, we have by far the greater number of skirmishers. So we've got our medium cavalry uh, out in front and the light cavalry going screen. So we need to put skirmishers the screen our cavalry. I could do recruiting another unit of Velotes then. So we're facing the Senones. They've got a terrain defense of two thanks to the march. This might not go well for us despite our advantages. So first of all, skirmishers will have to go at them. And we've got some mild advantages from that. Yeah, we're at a disadvantage. And the generals are equal, so this might this might not end well. Got lucky in our dice roll there. Another disadvantage. Now, cavalry are somewhat resilient. Oh no. I got absolutely trounced over there. Okay, well, we managed to throw them into disarray there. And we smashed them on the right. So our left lost the battle, but so did the right. I've got our right one through. 
and so it's a draw. So this battle will repeat next turn. Same about our cavalry. So we're starting to push them back. The combat power is swinging in our favor, but they still have the terrain advantages. And they're now exhausted. That puts them at a major disadvantage. So we're now on even footing. Unfortunately, that doesn't really do anything to us because they're already exhausted. We need to beat them by a margin of two. We're lucky to still have them. But our, our skirmishers smashed their skirmishers. We have an advantage here. I've got terrible dice rolls. That on form for me. No, we had very bad luck in that battle. But we did manage to kill off one of their units. So hopefully this time we'll win. You can see our our power is now greatly diminished. Still can't get a decisive advantage there. Ah, there, there we go. So we killed off two of their units. Another draw. Both sides. I did not expect this to be such a hard fight so early on. Especially since they, are, they were practically defeated. Before. Starting to grind down that unit. Both of the units must mutually annihilate each other. Skirmisher, right. We managed to win there, right. And we finally won. So we won a majority of the melees there, and our score was greater than three compared to their score. That was an ugly battle. Unfortunately, that means I've lost a lot of experienced units. Now that we've taken all the regions, we will automatically um, annex them. God! As you can see, it's already getting difficult. And Tarentum declared war on us on that exact moment. Right, it's pretty obvious what we need to do. We need to... Well, we've already annexed them, so it doesn't matter what the Senons say. Hopefully that means I can finally form a province. Let's take a look. Oh great, so the game might declare war on, war on them for us. I don't really want another war with the Samnites while well, also at war with Tarentum. So, right, can I not form the province at this stage? We need all of this. Right, never mind, we're just going to have to start recruiting the place of legions. Uh, I, let's take a look at our losses. I need two more units of legions, and I also need some Bellatice. Oops, that doesn't really matter what the priority is. And I could also do, I could do some more Bellatice because we were short on this time. Uh, I could also do with some cavalry. Because we lost them as well, and you know what? Since we're at war, I could actually do with some al allies as well. But I don't suppose we can squeeze out one unit of light cavalry. There we go. So that will, if we can reunite with our troops in the south, that will at least help. Now, it's going to take a long time before we can really get anything out of this region that has just been conquered. At least the situation is somewhat stable. This might actually be what's producing a lot of our decadence, because uh, the dislo disloyalty also impacts decadence, because it reduces the impact of your culture. What did we build here? We've managed to complete the stables, that's why I'm able to build cavalry. Right. And I was trying to specialize towards infrastructure here, so... Hmm. We have access to the castle now. Let's get the smokehouse and start getting help up. We've got a vineyard, vineyard in um, Campania. Hmm. Still need salt. I'll go for the Eurasian Tribune. 
we'll just have to see what happens when the, the, the Tarantines attack. I'm hoping we'll at least be able to defend um, Campania. Okay, we're under siege there, but we've managed to meet up with our army. Problem is my army is also exhausted from the war. At least we haven't fallen any farther down the uh, rankings. Fantastic, and we've been attacked by the Etruscans. So, not unexpected, Rome was at war with most of its neighbours at some point or another. Let's merge our armies together and see what we've got. So I've, got I've got four legions, but one of them are wounded. We've got five units of skirmishers, and we've got the light cavalry, but I haven't united my heavy cavalry yet. How large is this army here? Five heavy units, mm. and six heavy units, plus some javelmen to screen them. That's actually quite a good army. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to meet up with the besiegers if I move in here immediately. What we might want to do is continue to recruit, because I've used up all my stockpiled equipment I don't have access to anymore. <sighs> I did not expect to have this much come under this much pressure this early in the game. Uh, but we can't afford a defeat this early on. I'm going to take the time to build up and stabilize the situation. We'll get to that when we're not actively under siege. How long? So you should be quick, so I might have to move quickly. I'm going... Um, I don't like... Well, no, actually, I do like our odds. Our cavalry should be able to find them pretty much for free. We're going to attack. I've got confidence that we'll be able to pull this off. Right, we've got... Access to a smokehouse in uh, what's this called? Tiberius. Take the we'll take the clear water because that's a pretty, that doesn't take the building slot. The tavern has been completed in Latium. Okay, let's see. Archers and martial training. Well, I did say that we wanted to specialize this. We can also build the temple that will give us five extra culture, or we could go for the herbalist and that will improve our manpower. Um. I think since I'm trying to specialise this region into military, we'll go for the archery. And we've got a settlement here apparently. So we've got Colonia, that will help a little bit with food production here. Um, let's see what we can build here. I don't really know what to do with this place yet. I guess I'll go then for the safe option of a health building. Just follow through to our lands here. Hopefully they don't outpace the infantry and end up fighting the tar Tarantines on their own. Uh, this is going to get ugly. And remember, we've only got 10 turns to conquer the Samnites as well. Should have seen that coming. So they were drawn, leaving us to the mercy of the Etruscans. So now I'm in the difficult position of having to decide to try and knock out the Tarentines quickly, leaving my back open, or marching back into Etruria, in which case the Tarentines will likely just come back. Oh, what the heck. Right, this is what I always like to try and do. If, I've got, if I'm in a position like this, I want to try and strike and, what, and knock one enemy out of war first. So we'll turn on the Tarantines. Let's see. 
to access the builder hall, so yet the focus on infrastructure is helping. Um, on the other hand, that's a lot of food. Uh, we'll, we'll focus on the infrastructure, that's what we've been trying to achieve here. Um, I need somewhere that can focus on food, at least two provinces that can focus on food production. Though. Well, you know, I'm not a large, it's a tier two building, so I'll take it just now, but I'm not allergic to the idea of building farms elsewhere. Um, population growth is population growth. Right, let's go in and invade Tarentines. And let's hope they also stand their ground and fight in the fields. So we're now under siege, but they withdrew again. Fantastic. Right, how fast is the siege going to take? At least, it's, at least it will be quick. The thing is, they've invaded those with two arms, the siege should be quick. Yeah, uh, this is not great. However, they've only invaded with a combat power of 18. So they've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The problem is, our units are quite expensive. I've got one unit of cavalry here, I've got two units of Italian foot, and then I've got the urban militia. Now, these aren't capable of skirmishing, that's the only thing. If we could build up some more combat power, we could, pro we could probably take the fight to them fairly quickly. Let's see if we can build up a relief force. Uh, the Oration Tribune is being completed. Um, this is a region that's focused on commerce, isn't it? Uh, let's go for the... Garam shops depends on trade of resources that we really don't have reliable access to yet. Um, it's expensive, but I'll go for the temple. How strong is the garrison in here? Thing is, they'll be they'll get a massive bonus from the fact that uh, it's a defensive setting. So now we'll try and build up relief forces, and what I'll try and do is I'll try and recruit some cavalry here in uh, Campania, which will give us the edge in battle. We'd better also give this army a general. I'll give them access to Licinius because he will have a, a bonus to attack when the attack begins. I'll also give a general here, to venture rating of 2, that will be very good, because that, they will definitely need help. That slowed the siege down, and I'll give this uh, group our, uh, access to... That's a defense bonus out in the field, it won't uh, give me a bonus in the city. You definitely don't want a coward. Uh, yeah, meant, uh, let's see, I think Sancho's probably the best, given the situation. It didn't really give us a bonus after all. This is looking pretty ugly, I've got to say. No wonder we're losing support in the Senate. Right in Rome, let's see, we've got, ah, we've got access to the Lassian Temple. Even with the access to clear water, I want this, I really want this. We'll take the five turns to get it. to death. See, even with the defences of the walls. You see, we don't get any bonuses there. Battle ends in a draw, that's a surprise. I 
I swear I will make him pay for this. On the plus side, that actually reduced my decadence gain, because uh, that took a province with a lot of unrest out of our hands. And we're low on supply here as well. Oh no, wait, that's, that was our garrison that was low on supplies. Because, you know, funnily enough, we are on, under siege. Let's get our armies together so that we can actually defend ourselves. How's the siege coming on along? We've inflicted a few casualties on them. Their effectiveness is down. We've now only got plus three. I think given the strength of our army, we have to try and assault them. We've managed to soften them up. We have an advantage. And just keep training units, even though it takes some time. And we're now losing money as well. Since it's an emergency, I'll take troops out of food production. I'll take yeah, citizens off of food production. Go for it anyway. Joys of fighting on two fronts. This is this is again. Why are they so weak here? Come up power two. But we'll see how that works out in practice. Oh wow, yeah, we do have an advantage. It's a much stronger unit, a stronger general, and they've been softened up by siege. So only one of our units was even tired out by that. Plus we'll gain experience from that, so this army will become even more effective. to pay our troops that turn. Let's take a look. Support's currently very weak. We're about to uh, get a new party in power, I think. Continue on, besiege Tarentum, and well, since we now do indeed seem to have enough money, let's see, five units of enemy infantry and six units of skirmishers. What do I have? Not enough is the answer. I can defend myself here, but I really can't take any offensive action. We'll just have to continue to attack the Tarentines. That said, it... Rome would be able to defend itself. I wonder if we moved to besiege Eresium. Because that would we'd then be in the position of being on a hill and it would potentially split them in half. And if they move back into my terrain, I'll at least be fighting on my on a terrain that sees us. Since I haven't been able to make the province yet, um, let's pour everything into food because we've already got more than enough infrastructure here. Let's try and get some growth going. Uh, the we need, well, they've got enough food stockpile, they're not going to starve. Right, they've sent a small detachment to try and stop us. Okay. So, they do get one extra defense from the hell. 
What? Oh, that was an abysmal roll. But they have the better general. Oh, come on, I can't lose my first campaign. Um, as the Romans, of all people. I'm not even playing on the higher difficulty level. Ended in a messy draw. Where did all these troops even come? Did this just nate was this just raised uh, by the natives of the region? At least we're running this one much more decisively. And they lost that. The good. They lost that good general. That will help. But with an army this week, I'm not going to be able to stay here. We're going to have to retreat back into our own lands because I've been burning money at an alarming rate. Um, it's going to be hard to replace the losses. What's the situation like? Yeah, we have taken way too many casts. We're gonna we're going to have to retreat back towards Rome. How long is the siege here likely to the siege will last a long time? Let's try and talk to the Tarantine final peace chance. Fun times. We're having them. Right, you know what? Since we ha we're able to do it, so why don't we march all the way back and I'm going to launch a surprise attack on the Etruscans here. March the length and breadth of the country and make a strike upon the capital region. See if we can catch them out in open battle. Because this is not working. Okay, now this is just open plain, so we have a huge advantage over here. Yeah. Good. Yeah, we're going to. That worked. We're going to cut them down. Ouch. I would probably regret taking that fight. We're evenly matched in terms of generalship. A good defensive commander against a good offensive commander. I don't know who they, they attack people in the back ranks, the enemy reserves. So that obviously further influences things towards us in the victory calculation. That's why I wanted cavalry. Because you know, well there's bound to be what at least one disaster. And that is and that will utterly destroy their army. This also means that we're not going to be able to conquer Samnium when the 20 turns uh, authorised. I have no money to make any decisions like that. I hate this kind of situation. The situation where I'm spending all of my money, I'm stuck in a two-front war and there's base, it feels like there's 
basically nothing I can do about it. And the volcano's gone up. Because I'm not making any progress here. I'm just taking that. I'm just taking. I'm just rolling with the punches. Uh, bring in the. Since we've managed to win the situation, bring in the rest of the army. I want. I am going to murder the Etruscans for this. Actually, what was the siege result? Yeah, we didn't manage to affect any casualties. We had maximum penalty to that. Don't suppose I've, I've got someone who's, who's capable of besieging settlements? No, I do not. Okay, let's wait for the siege to take some effect. But this is exactly the kind of grinding war I try to avoid. Because uh, it just burns down everyone. And it means I'm going to have to deal with all the decadence and uh, other problems that come from rapid expansion as well. But you know what, that's fine, because I wasn't expecting the AI to make it easy for me. And we are now starting to win. Uh, yeah, we are... N I just realized I passed a major land tax law, didn't I? And that caused a lot of unrest, which I figured... That we'd, uh, oh god, the Sand Knights have become glorious. I figured that this early in the game, with relatively low populations, we wouldn't have a major problem with um, unrest. But apparently, that's not the case. Uh, unrest is actually a problem fairly early on. I think, given the situation, you know what, that's even in a military province, 17 money is a lot of money. I will take it. Right, we've got the plague has arrived in in uh, Italia Inferior. Let's just go for a shepherd's house. Wow, we took the capital. Okay, that's got to give us a boost. Now, a big question is whether or not um, taking all of their native regions are in pro for progressing again for some reason. But a big question in my mind is whether or not um, Taking all of these, taking these two regions, will end the war, or ever have to take back Pistium as well. So let's take a look. What's just a more major province? Uh, looks like it's Arnus. So we'll progress into Arnus first. And looking at their garrison there, you know we might be able to make a straight assault on this. Losing money again, but I'm not. Yeah, I don't think we need uh, a dictatorship. And I don't have the money for that, and the other option uh, reduces my um, loyalty. Another war being started up here. Please tell me that wasn't against us. It was against us, so we've got the Celtus. They really want to die, don't they? This was a mistake, wasn't it? Ah, but they lost their general. So next time we assault, we should have a better chance. 
so that our skirmishers are wearing them down. We need to do better than that, guys. Still, Nate. You should win here against the Pope. Still, Nate. But... Stupid dice. You have got to be kidding me. Just let me end this horrid war. I didn't realize they had the palace. I figured they wouldn't be able to read it. Maybe that was their capital. Just because it looked to me like that lowland province was the largest settlement. I assumed that was the capital city. Okay, at least we have some more money, so 51, we still have the strength of the bandage, let's try and rebuild our military. I lost, I think, two legions there. I think that pushes us into debt at that point. Uh, how expensive are the ally? A little bit less expensive. Do we have anywhere that can raise them quick? Uh, no, there's no easy options. We can get them in two turns time. Yeah, that's really right. Right, what's, what's the siege like? It should still be quick. So fingers crossed we can still win this fairly quickly despite my blunder. Okay. This should be a stomp. Town militia fighting out in the open. I mean, they're doing a remarkably good job so far, but. Oh, of course, because the city walls were blown down by the flaming volcano. We just lost an objective. This has been an absolute disaster. I have made mistake after mistake. Uh, put some money into cash so we don't go completely bankrupt. And keep going.
food. Why are we suffering from partial supply? That's actually a problem. We are going to start losing our uh, losing resources. Oh, thank goodness. At least it takes the attention off of us. We need to hope that the siege ends soon. We breached. Okay, right. Let's assault the city. That will re that will give us access to supply again, as I can draw on the province's food reserves. I would say there's a revolt risk in Rome. Uh, after this, we should be able to form the province. So I can finally. My plan of action into place. Get a palisade up. All cities, all city regions should have a palisade. Because otherwise, it can just be taken immediately. Fingers crossed this works this time. We managed to cut down the palace guard. Had a dreadful roll there. If we cut down the urban militia, we're gonna win. And that's has got our supply back lines back open again. So our units will start to recover. into Italia Superior and we can make the province uh, that is something we're definitely definitely going to do that is very good news for us um, let's just keep the food situation under control there for now uh, let's see okay let's take a look this regions are hmm, bountiful land. Yeah, we definitely probably want to focus on agriculture here, if I'm honest. But we'll get the iron mine first. And here, let's see. This place does not look like a natural, like it's natural farmland. Uh, but we we need at least somewhere to focus on food. So we'll go for the stud here. I don't know if that counts as their capital again. No, the siege, the siege should be quick. We should have them down soon. And then we'll find out if I also need to go after Isnia. You can see they're trying to build up another army of irregulars.
Salia is asking for an alliance. Do I really want to be involved in Massalia's business? As much as having a light, an ally in the area would be nice, I don't really feel like um, I want to suddenly get dragged into a war in Gaul. Okay, the protections are now in power. Uh, that is not really something I care about, to be honest. I'm just going to focus on doing my job, which right now is fighting this war. Um, yeah, we'll definitely go for the coastal market. We've got access to fish now. Uh, and that also means that we've now got, the, we've now formed the province, all of our resources are pooled. So I can now access all of that infrastructure that I built up in Tiberius. Um, so, as mentioned, well, let's see. Yeah, we're going to get access to food from the coastal market. So, as I mentioned, I want these regions to focus on feeding my population. Okay. Now, we should start to, crack, to rapidly crack this army. Uh, so, no need to attack it directly. And since I've got access to so much money, let our financials re financial situation rebuild. I don't want to start start uh, burning down my financial reserves. I might need to raise a large army in a hurry. I don't particularly care that the Etruscans have a fleet. We can deal with that. Okay, yep, we've managed to make a breach. We make an assault. We've got wood cutting here. Keep up with Okay, we've built everything we can here. Um, you know, it's worth building it. Let's see. Honestly, our buildings are doing all the infrastructure for us. Why don't we put someone into culture? The sooner we get up to uh, level three, I can probably move some of these emergency uh, citizens out of financials now. Now, if we focus on culture, we can actually get up to um, 1,000, which will give us more legacy, which is, after all, the objective of the game. What's happened here? Okay, local map. The, uh, cap the old capital's been broken down. Uh, if it doesn't fall by itself, it's all the next turn. We're getting pretty close to that. Uh, we don't have access to the Wild Beast. That would make that anywhere near useful. Uh, the city guard is going to give us a bonus to our loyalty, and since this is a military focus, yeah, okay, we'll go for it. Remember, the more buildings of a military type, the more access to better tiers of building that will give me access to level three tiers. They seem to have become neutral again. That's I don't know why, but that's a good thing. Maybe because they didn't share a border with us, or not a border that's legally legally owned anyway. They just fell by themselves. Yeah, we're going to have to drag them. We're going to have to take this name as well. Optimates are uh, now in charge. And the government of the Optimus Park, Rome is being partially reformed and seems more efficient. Huh. Well, that's good. Okay. Right. Into the one. Let's hunt them down and finally 
get rid of the uh, Etruscans who have caused us so much trouble with their opportunistic warring. Okay. Uh, There's actually something I could think of. We've got the money. You know what? Yeah, let's build a harbour in Latium. Why did that? Because remember, this is supposed to be a somewhere where it's fo that's focusing on food. Um, okay, the thing is, that's a lot of money coming in. But on the other hand, that's a lot of health. Then we'll go for the salt house. Let's focus on trying to get a region to specialize a little bit. Tarentum would be focusing on the economy if it wasn't currently occupied by the Tarentines right now. Now they have access to a port, so that might extend the siege slightly. That's a revolt, isn't it? And if they take it back, they will get their capital back, which means we'll have to deal with the, uh, the palace guards again. You know what, if someone wants to be your friend that badly, you should probably accept it. Fine. It's bad. Okay, they're bandits apparently. Can the local guard deal with that? Yes. I say that they leave fortified structures and deal with the, the problem themselves. We will continue the siege. Right, so the siege duration, this could take a while. What exactly do they have in here? Palace guards, really, in an occupied territory? This is some another thing that arcs me in games, because uh, you really shouldn't be able to just rebuild your capital anywhere. If you lose your palace guards, that should be them pretty much gone. You can't just immediately have them back in another province. But okay, we'll deal with it. Might mean things take a little bit longer. Yeah. So you should win this handily. Yeah, the urban militia are just tearing them apart. There we go. They're all dead. Yeah, I think regardless of what happens on the battlefield, if everyone dies in battle, uh, you consider the battle won. If everyone on the other side dies in battle, you consider the battle won. I am also wondering what the Tarantines are doing. So far they've just been allowing me to do whatever I want. So it does mean we'll get involved in their wars. Oh wow, we got lucky. So we've breached the walls, we're ready for an assault. I'm still not sure I want to actually carry out an attack on them yet. Because that is a lot of very strong units. And I'm not sure how well we'll do in a direct assault. But, you know what, we'll leave it for now. We've built a building in uh, Etruria. We will go after the clear water, because of course we will. Although, hmm... No, we'll go for the courthouse while I've got the opportunity for that. Gives culture, and more importantly, well, it reduces culture. But it also reduces decadence, and that's actually very important. I will think I'll actually permanently put some citizens on culture to compensate for that. But reduction of decadence is good, you want that because decadence is one of the things that will pull down your uh, civilization over time. This is supposed to be food, we'll go for the seed house. Let's see, yeah, continue to focus on infrastructure. 
So after a very rocky start, we are now starting to make progress. It's over. It's over. The, the Etruscans are gone. We need no longer worry about them. Plus, we've retaken an objective. That's another progress token to us. We're going to be moving up to Glorious Republic soon. This name was going to focus on... I don't think I've actually decided. Hmm. Well, we'll go for... Let's see. It's a coastal region. What we'll do is we'll go for the harbour. Um, so that's going to help us start to build up our naval forces. So we've got access to Brickwork and Clannis. What is Clannis... Planus is already focused. Why don't we just make this corner focus on food? Um, although, I think I'll take the... Uh, I think I will go for the delicacy shop since I've got, that's a very good building. and Roman the capital is at least equal to one. We need a lot of money for this. But that will improve our naval options. So I think we want to start saving up money for uh, getting the four of us. What does this require? When the conditions are new met, new colonies will be found in two new regions. You'll also gain a reward of 150 legacy points. Okay. Um, alt these two conditions must be true. Regional owner in Padus is equal to owned by us. We need Padus. We need to be at war with the Insubris. And we need to be at war with the Venetians. Okay. Uh, where's Padus? Okay, that is in Cisalpina. Um... Well, before we deal with that, let's go and deal with the Tarentines. Our situation should be much easier now that we've managed to deal with all of the uh, threats in the north. We're going to be marching into Italia Inferior. Hmm. We'll take it back from the Tarentines, and I think I might want to attack the Samnium. We've got access to Siege Workshop. That's going to be expensive because I don't have access to leather yet. Um, after district, okay. Or we could go for the Noble District, isn't really great. Uh, we could get more from it if we had uh, the missing bonuses. It would give us a massive loyalty bonus though. Um, well, actually, no, we've got access to Marvel. I think we'll go. Well, it's going to increase our debt cadence, but we do actually need to start taking care of our loyalty problems. So we'll go for the. I guess we will go for the. Um, the Noble District. Because we'll need it at some point anyway. Okay, moving on to Tarentum. Control the Paris. Yeah, we can't actually do this yet until that the uh, requirements come around. We'll focus on saving up our money. Yeah, we failed the mission sent the game, I know. I was attacked by two I, I was attacked by two different civilizations. Give me a break. Thankfully, the tar lazy Tarantines haven't got around to rebuilding their uh, rebuilding that wall. Vesuvius uh, tore down.
Okay. That will also help our legacy. Look at our leg. So that's pushed our legacy up a lot. We managed to retake a lot of, and we're now a glorious republic. That's why we've got the bonus in uh, legacy income. So we're finally on the up now. Um, I don't think we desperately need metal, do we? Glorious Republic, so we want to now gain at least 10 regions so that we can be known as an empire. And we are going to, I'm going to definitely declare war on them. Uh, I've had enough of this. Not had enough of uh, my warlike neighbors. So next turn we'll be able to push in. Everything. Oh God! What is happening? We are hemorrhaging money here. Right? Why are we hemorrhaging money? <sighs> they built a bunch of stuff that I don't have access to. That is why we are hemorrhaging money. Start. Right. I'm going to tolerate this for the minute, as we may take resources. Uh, ter uh, territory which has these resources um, but if it continues I'm going to have to get rid of these buildings because they are a massive ongoing cost in the meantime we've at least got a herbalist in um, here Swamp jerk draining. Let's see. Very costly for a low tier building. Only built in set swamp and marshes. Uh, hmm. Do I really care about that draining the swamps? Now what we'll do is we don't really produce a lot of food here, so I don't have food on as the way to go. Um. Why don't we make this area another money spinner? I'm going to start f focusing on commercial buildings in uh, Cisalpina. I think it's because they're on their own at the moment. Uh, they don't gain access to other... Uh, uh, they don't get access to pooled resources from the rest of the province. Is now we're glory. Now that we're glorious, uh, our government age is now going to start affecting our decadence. So that's going to increase. So I'm going to have to focus more on cultural things to maintain progress. Yep, I know. I declared that war. Move in. We're going to try and overpower the royal guard as quickly as possible. It helps they're off trying to besiege the Tarentine capital. Let's see. We'll go for the street parlor, that's a good way of gaining culture. Okay, let's see. Now I'm going to know where the little noble district there. I don't really need extra money right now, we are rolling in cash. Now what I might actually try to do is set up a second army. But we are going for the Corvus right now, so it's not a good time. So we've got an extra unit population, why don't you... S mm. Okay, uh... Keep an eye out for anything that might help us convert cultures. And let's see. Yeah, I really don't need all of this money coming in. We can focus on infrastructure and food instead, and culture as well. Because this is what's ultimately going to give us the legacy that we need to win the game. Uh, instead of the Celtic citizen working on culture, why don't we have the Italic citizen do that? 
but since that's not really doing anything for us right now anyway with the uh, just conquered modifier why don't you focus on food and infrastructure instead I do not need more I do not need to sell metal I do not need anything else well I'm working on that right now Fingers crossed they find us in the field. Oh good. This will go well for them. It would have been funny if I killed their general in the process as well. So that means it's just the native garrisons uh, defending this province. And even the Samnites shouldn't be able to do much with that. They are bringing their army back towards us. But in a mountain the frontage will be narrow, so I don't need a massive army to confront them. Now that said, maybe I should consider building a few more units because we are... Well, let me have a look at what's going on. We only have five units now. You can have frontage of up to 16 units in a battle. We what we, I think we want is we want at least three units of medium cavalry. We want our Velites to equal our legions, which currently they do, they do not. And yeah, I think I'll build a few. So I'll build a few Velites. And then once it, since the legions are now very expensive, I'll train a few ally. And that moves up to having access to, and they of course the Velites to go with them. So it'll be expensive, but that will give us a solid armed force. It'll also help a lot with these difficult sieges. Or not so difficult sieges, but it'll help us with capital sieges in places like Tarentum, which are otherwise very tricky to take. Notice how I immediately went for the castle walls. Um, we are focused on food, but we need some health buildings in here. I'll go for the... Uh, what was that where we were building? Is that an aqueduct? Just sanitation. Okay. Um, we'll go for the herbalist. I could do, well, let's see. Hemp. We already have access to hemp. I think we'll go. For, but I would like some extra food. That is. Well, but what's the culture? Because we always need to consider culture. We'll go for the cult site because that is becoming increasingly relevant. Uh, the pleasure house would increase our loyalty at the cost of decadence. We do not. We do not want that. Right now, thank you. Uh oh. Great. So we've been attacked by an uh, by an army of independent uh, Italians. Well, our new army might be able to deal with that, especially with the help of the garrison. And we're sliding out of the top rung. I think I'm going to transfer a few more of my citizens to culture. That will also help with unrest. Okay, Massali has joined our war. Thank you. I think they're dying anyway, but it's good that they care. I know what you're thinking, I should probably go and help them. Am I going to go and help them? No, I'm not. Let's see, salt marsh. Produces salt. Let's see, it would be a cost to infrastructure, but I think... Uh... Hmm. Access to the harbour is tempting because we've already got the anchorage. Yeah, we're supposed to be developing that in a commercial direction. We're not going to focus more on food, on uh, food, and we've already got a source of salt. Uh, wow, that's a lot of warriors. Uh, we should still be fine. We've got the generals, general advantage. 
made a breach, but the set is still resisting. Um, I don't think we, we've got an enemy army right there. I don't think we need to, to expend the extra resources. Um, we've apparently managed to build something despite the fact that we're, we're under siege. Very impressive. Um, I'm surprised we get so little food from this. Probably because we're under siege. Um, well, I, this isn't really a. This is supposed to be an infrastructure province. The Builders Guild does not give us access. We do not have access to tools to get that. What I think we'll do is we'll go for the orchard. I think I'll go after play, th mm, I think I'll go after things like the forest in the future because that might give me access. That kind of line might give me access to tools. So if I've got an infrastructure, what it's taught me is also go for the commercial line buildings like furnaces and that sort of thing. Okay, so we know that food is the priority in these provinces here. So there's a good chance the Samnium's capital will fall next turn. Oh, snowy hell, that might have consequences. We smash the center of their line. Continue, okay. Uh, the cavalry are. The cavalry managed to survive that because they managed to evade a little bit. Okay, so our flanks might have some trouble here. Good. Probably rode them down the flanks. Get out of my country. There we go. Good, because it's just a generic rebel army, they uh, didn't linger. The thing is, there's, if there's snow in the mountains, we might not be able to reinforce our, uh, reinforce the star. Nation emissaries, what do they want? Well, let's take a look. You want metal and you want you want to give us a hundred metal and you want us to pay two hundred money. Don't think so. Right. Interesting. Okay, so they're but they're we unfortunately had a bit of bad luck in that turn. Nothing happened. Basically, nothing happened. We got an orchard, so we've got plenty of food coming in now. I think we'll go after the smokehouse next. Wait, is there a good cultural option? That is a massive reduction in the decadence and the culture. The papyrus is going to be expensive, so we don't have a trade partner with that. I think we'll go after that next. Um, we've got all the resources we need for the garum. Not got access to olive oil though, so um, while it will produce food, it's not going to produce the money it otherwise would. Thankfully, although we have to get the olive oil from just buying it from the open market, which works for some reason in the ancient world, um, we will we have enough bonuses that we at least aren't losing money by doing this. We've already got access to flax, and they've got access, so I'm not that worried. Yikes! Just as well we intervened when we did. Okay, things are pretty bad. We actually had to do some crucifixions there to keep things under control. Right, hopefully the siege will start to progress a little bit faster now. Because we will eventually run out of uh, food to pillage from the province. They're, uh oh, they're attacking us. Right, um... This shouldn't be too bad. We are defending a mountain after all. At least I hope we're defending. Right, are we? Yet yeah, they're attacking, we're defending, so. It's surprisingly even. But it's going to be worse for them down the front. It was only their elite soldiers who were able to stand against us. We were going to slaughter Sam Neon's army.
and the pursuit will, will destroy them. And they were driven out of the province, and we've got reinforcements coming. This is because it would have been very annoying to lose our siege progress now. I believe you can draw on supply from neighboring provinces, so we're basically supplying our soldiers from Rome. That's why it's dangerous to go running off deep into enemy territory, because you'll only have uh, you'll only be able to live off the land if you don't control the surrounding provinces. Right, uh, let's see. Lots of money, loyalty bonus, no downsides. We do have access to the farm here. This was supposed to be a... Well, this was supposed to be a food... We'll go for the ta tavern. Uh, there's really no contest. It'll bring our loyalty up to max as well. Uh, we could go for the Eurasian Tribune. We do gain the bonus of 5 from access to marble, plus a loyalty bonus again. That sounds good to me. Let's see. Let's check out our regional decisions, actually. Let's see. The Art of Siege... Region must be under siege. Let's play it here. That will help us take the region quickly. We've got a lot of. That should allow us to finish the sand knights off. Actually, not. Uh, I wish I'd actually hung up onto that until we started besieging Tarentum, because that would have helped us there. But remember, regional decisions do cost money. I don't really need to dig into this right now. Um, it's not. I, I'm trying to build up my money. It's not really a priority for me. I wonder why our legacies diminished. We were getting seven before. I'm still continuing to hold out. Right. Since we already have them under siege and they're now in a very bad way, I think we can leave the smaller of our two armies to deal with us, the allies. I'm going to press on the main army and I'm going to try to force the rest of Samnium into submission. So they're taking a bit of a risk because I am splitting my forces, but I think I've got reason to believe it will pay off. We needed a tannery. We will go for that. And because of our good healthcare, we've automatically gained a new population. So you can actually get, we'll put you into culture. And we'll start upgrading our culture here. It'll take a long time, but I do want some effort made in the provinces to educate people. enemy force and they actually have the better general. So far we're winning anyway. They didn't skirmish which means they get tired even though we lost them. Saved by the fact that they were skirmishers. And also saved by the fact that they were skirmishers. And we get to flank them now. I find it a little bit backwards that, um, okay, that means both sides stood and fought, so everyone takes casualties. 
Okay, no, we're not going to survive that. Well, given that we were facing the better general, I'd say I came out of that pretty well. We're just going to ride them down now. And having conquered the top province, I can move straight on to this province here. They are they do have the helm. I don't think they even have a general here. Oh wait, no, they do. But this time things are more evenly matched in the general department. And they are much, much worse than us in terms of all. Yeah, flank and attack will just cut the armor militia down. If you're wondering where all these forces come from, the province does provide a local garrison. I'll train up the cavalry next I'll train up the replacement cavalry next turn. Okay. So we lost a Velte and um, we lost cal uh, a unit of cavalry in that campaign. Why is it why is it and that's it, they've been occupied. So Samnium's now been conquered. They all disappear now. They all disappear this turn. Uh, we've dropped out of progress. We need to try and get our cultural situation cultural situation sorted out. It's probably because I've taken a lot of territory all at once. But I do need to be gaining those progress tokens. Uh talk about what? You're done. You're up. we've conquered you. Right, so they'll be under pacification for a while. Move people in to producing culture uh, because I think we're going to need to focus on our culture for a while. Um, yeah, lot, I want lots of citizens writing books, uh, studying laws, and just generally making something of themselves in the world. Okay, they should still have plenty of resources for other things. Uh, we'll go for the worship place. Anything that improves our loyalty above uh, 100 uh, is going to help to stave off decadence as well. You will. Well, what's the thing is? Yes, I could go for food, which is what this is supposed to be building. Come on, that's 16 money. I'm not going to say no to that. And we'll. Let's see. You can go for the major harbour. Uh, but I think we'll go for the wells, as again, that is what this region is supposed to be focused on. We'll go for the market here. Unless there's a good cultural option, let's see, we, we need the loyalty. That will give us a bit more money, plus that's a loyalty bonus. I can form Italia Inferior, I will form that, Samnium will be the capital. Uh... Yeah, as I said, I'm real. That's kind of spooked me a little bit. We need to focus on getting our loyalty situation sorted out. Things should improve as the regions come under pacification, and we are going to advance into Tarentum. I said I'd get them, and I am keeping that promise. And I just realised that while this has been going on, Carthage has managed to encroach in my sphere of influence. Um, right, we're almost out of time for today. Let's see if I can manage to deal. A crushing blow to the Tarentines, and what I will do also is I didn't. We have no adequate harbor anywhere. Hmm. You know what? We're not building the wells. We're going after a major harbor because I need access to warships. Otherwise, the siege is going to take forever because they can supply themselves with sea. That's why it was so difficult before. And yes, I did just work that out. Thank you. Um, yeah, we're not going to get anywhere. I'm going to bring in the other army as well. Because I bet it will be uh, a long siege again. We're, okay, good. We're growing again, but as I said, unless we have enough regions, we're not going to be able to become an empire.
And I think it's not 10 regions, I think it's been changed to you need 20 regions to become an empire now. The extra legacy points will obviously help us win the game. Right, what's the siege like? Yeah, siege will take a long time. Some of the siege resistance structures, they've got a massive great big wall here. Um, they've got access to a port, which is going to help them to... Hmm. I understand that, that's from the soldiers. Where is all the siege resist coming from? Okay, siege resist plus four. Do any of these give siege resistance? Trade port. Not really. I don't know where this is coming from, to be honest. Well, if we bring in more soldiers, the sheer number of soldiers in the area should give us some impetus. And if we can build that port, that will help. Yeah. Right, let's see. This is supposed to be a commercial district. But I like the court. Well, hmm. Maybe. That's Italian fear. I... Hmm. I'm actually... Th I don't know... Well, I haven't really made a decision on as to what this region is going to specialise in. We do need an area that's focused on infrastructure. And you know what? That is 11 infrastructure, so let's go for that. We'll go f we need olive oil to be native to our province, we'll go for that there. Okay, let's just focus a little bit more on infrastructure. I do need that port built up more than growth right now. This is supposed to be cool. produce fish. We do need we, we could use an, another source of fish. <laughs> Digging the Tarantines out of there may take time. Right, Dacia wants something. <laughs> give us money. They are demanding that they give us money. I am, funnily enough, not interested in that. Okay, uh, it would appear that uh, the Total War series is not the only one with AI that doesn't really understand diplomacy. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I mean, that's just fantastic all around. And we are trying to go for commercial sets up there. We have access to the market here. Uh, we're not going to go for the usurer. That is a big... We'll go for the Thalassian Temple, though, because even with the deficit of money, that culture bonus is worth it. Admirable healthcare. We've got another... We've got more citizens here. Why don't we at least start to build some culture in this region? And we've got some settlers here from Rome. Excellent. Now I'm guessing that this didn't actually go anywhere. Not a big surprise. What's the siege like now? Even with the extra soldiers, it's still not going anywhere. I could bring it, I could train up even more soldiers, but I think we'll soldiers. I think we might need to do that to hurry this along. Uh, an Italian inferior. The issue is these are only war. Why don't we get some Italian foot? Because they're less expensive and they do have the procedure trait. So we build four of these. That should give us a good foot. Well, three of these and the skirmishers to go with them, I should say. That's probably a good deal. Plus, they'll do well if we want to fight in the north, which I probably do want to do at some point.
We're starting to catch up with Car Carthage. We're, in the, we're definitely in the big leagues now in terms of legacy. That's not great timing, to be honest. Um, on the other hand, the, the, the Celtici are almost down. Um, uh, we, we need to finish the siege first. Come on. Um, this is actually a pretty good place for infrastructure. It's technically our time for today done. I'm going to try and push on a little bit farther. I want to see if I can get the Siege of Tarentum done, done today. Even with, even with all of that, we're not having any luck. Now, folks, I'm going to have to leave this until the next time. Okay, I've been Napoleon Complex. This has been a quick look at Field of Glory Empires. If there's some interest in this, I will continue this campaign. In fact, well, I, I might continue it anyway, uh, because uh, I kind of want to see how this turns out. It's going fairly well so far. I was really surprised at how um i'm surprised we actually managed to win that war things were looking very bad but um we did manage to get ourselves out of that particular corner and uh i will see you in the next one farewell